is in third place. So Robin Cousins has moved up the ladder. Third in the Europeans last year, second in the world, first in the Europeans this year. And we'll be back with more from Gothenburg, Sweden in just a moment. He's dancing. They're powerful, strong, and they skate smack in the middle of the very conservative rules that govern ice dancing. They're really a wonderful ice dance pair. Great energy. Rogozzi and Chalet from Hungary. They've been in third place for a long time. They're romantic, musical, and lovely to watch. Their technique, not as powerful or as strong or as technically correct as the Soviet Union's, but they're awfully nice to watch. They're in there for a medal, it seems to me. Moiseeva and Menenkov, affectionately called Minnie and Mo. They're very dramatic skaters, and perhaps that's one of their problems. They're overly dramatic in a sport that requires strict observation of rules that prevent this from being a show event. Their edges, beautiful. The Americans will have a tough time getting a medal. Okay, a figure skater of the future, quite possibly. Coming up, much more competition here, the men's championship, and we'll be back for that. Right now, another Winter Olympic sport, ski jumping. Here's our commentator, Chris Schenkel. Ending tall here at the Scandinavium in Sweden is Robin Cousins of Great Britain with tears in his eyes, having won this 1980 European men's skating championship. And it's got to be quite an event for John Curry, as Cousins uh, has the medal around him that... Kovalev of the Soviet Union, the world champion, finishes third year. Yes, this is quite an upset, and I think it's very significant with the Winter Olympics only three weeks away. All right, we have more skating coming up for you, as you will see the extraordinary pairs team of Rodnina and Zaitsev of the Soviet Union as they perform. And right now, it's time for the International Motorcycle Jump Challenge, and for that, let's join Ken Squire in Phoenix, Arizona in Gothenburg, Sweden, and now we are ready for the pairs competition of the 1980 European Figure Skating Championships, and with me is Jojo Starbuck, also known as Mrs. Terry Bradshaw, and you've got to be proud of Terry's accomplishments with that fourth Super Bowl. I certainly am, and no matter 